Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. A mail call came in. We've been strategizing. We've been going over it. And I think we have got a fantastic idea. I hope so. Because I reached out to some of you and I said, hey, what about this? And they're like, go for it. It sounds amazing. Here we are. Cajun Crawfish Burger. Let's get started. All right, one day scrolling through my feed, I had this really great comment from a guy named Jason. Put his information up here. You guys might know him as the Cajun Ninja. We've been commenting back and forth with each other, throwing ideas off each other, and he said, hey, I'm going to send you a case of my seasoning. So here we go. Paya is how you pronounce it. Paya seasoning. Man, I opened this bad boy up right before uh, I got in the shower, and I was like, woo, it's got a dang kick. I mean, it is right up my dang alley. Sometimes you guys open stuff, and it's like, uh, especially with the seasoning categories, everybody's got their own little niche, but this bad boy right here is on point. And I told you guys about the regional favorites, right? So what better way to incorporate crawfish? Woo! From Louisiana, I got myself some uh, crawfish meat right here. Got myself some burgers. You guys know I love my brioche bun. So let me tell you real quick right before we start about this idea. You ready? All right. The paya seasoning all over the burger, get a great crust. Butter of brioche buns. Then we're gonna saute the crawfish tails in some butter and a little bit of the seasoning. Just a little bit, not to overpower it. Then we're gonna make this awesome remoulade slash my concoction. Let me show you what we got. Just your basic store-bought tartar sauce. If you guys want to make it from scratch, do so. I personally like the dill flavored tartar sauce more than the sweet. I'm not a big fan of sweet tartar sauce. That's a personal preference. So I've got about three to four tablespoons, maybe about three tablespoons of tartar sauce, a couple dashes of hot sauce. I got some Dijon mustard. I got some pickled jalapenos and just some diced up onion. This to me is going to represent the idea of like when you make that special sauce for a burger, right? Go ahead real quick while we're at it, since this is on my mind, just a little squirt of lemon. And then come back in here with Jason's Cajun seasoning. And not a lot. I don't want to overpower it just to keep the, the flavors together. So that's going to be our special sauce that goes on top of our blackened Cajun burger with that crawfish sitting on top. Enough said. Let's get going. Whoo! 450-ish. All right, like I said, I'm gonna season these pretty liber liberally. That's a big word for me. On both sides. Because I wanna get that crust. Um, no oils, no anything. I'm gonna let that oil come from the beef. And then season this side. All right, just take a little bit of that crawfish out. I don't know, I've never bought this brand before. I'm just gonna eyeball it, how much crawfish we can put on, put on our burgers. That looks good, don't it? Now look, I'm not trying to overcook this. It's definitely cooked. So all I'm gonna do is warm it up. Add a little butter, just get some richness. Just like that. And just a touch of this seasoning, just a touch. Really quick, I was back and forth on whether or not I wanted to make this a smash burger. Why do we like smash burgers so much? Because of Maillard reaction. It's that browning, it's that caramelization of the actual proteins in the meat. That brown golden color is what we like. But I also like a big, thick, juicy burger. I like when you bite into it and it's just got some resistance. So what I'm gonna do is keep these on here as long as possible, but I want to develop that crust. So if you don't touch it, it's gonna act just like the other way. Keep it on there, it's gonna have that contact and you're gonna get that dark that dark crust of what you want. 
Now that our crawfish is done, I'm just gonna set this to the side. From that last burger we made, what burger did we make? That was so good. That had that brioche bun? Yeah. Oh man, what was oh, it? Oh, 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 fresh ground, fresh, oh, fresh ground yeah. burgers. Yeah, I said, I don't know if I could ever have another burger without that, woo, without that uh, brioche bun. So we're back at them again today. This is a different brand. See which one we like better. Just get a nice toast on those. Just want to mix that, give it a good mix. Maybe just taste it right before you put it on your burger. This is just a concoction I made up. I have no clue. Just seemed like it was the whole idea about making that special sauce to put on top of the, uh, or, you know, on a burger. And this is like right down my alley right here. Mm. Good. <laughs> Spicy. Right there on the back. All right, for toppings, just real quick. Lettuce, pickle, and tomato. We've already got our onion and our sauce. So the idea was, I struggled back and forth. If you knew me on a personal level, you would know that cooking number one is my passion, 100% my passion. But what type of cooking? Probably Mexican, is Mexican Hispanic is my number one. But second on the list has got to be Creole. It's got to be, what would you call Louisiana food? Like the gumbos, the red beans and rice Cajun. is probably my all, thank you, Cajun. Red beans and rice is probably my all time favorite dish. Of, I mean, period. I love Cajun food. So if Mexicans won, Cajuns too. So I really hope this burger mm -hmm. does it justice. All right, you ready? Yep. Woo. Nice toasted bun. Look, this toast will happen quick because there's some a lot of sugar in the, uh, brioche all right we're not going to flip it on the same area we're going to flip it over here oh yeah oh yeah mm. Woo. see why they call it a block and cajun burger Woo i'm going to pull my burgers about 130 degrees I'm just gonna let it rest for a second, go and clean my flat top. All right, you ready to build? All right, a little special sauce on the bottom. All right, now that our sauce is done. Whoo! Ooh, that's a juicy burger. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what'd you say? That's a juicy burger. Uh-oh. Mm. Oh, yeah. Top it with some of that crawfish. It's almost like a surf and turf. I came close to making a poor boy burger. The idea came to my mind. We did the chopped cheese that I think was super successful. I that was it was really, really good. I think people enjoyed it. The the authenticity. Authenticity. Thank you. Uh and the passion behind it, I think a lot of people understood where I was coming from. So what if somehow you could mix a poor boy into the idea of a chopped cheese? I know it's way out there. Sometimes you just got to stand on a limb. I don't know one thing. You better get that mouth unlocked. Mm. I'm hungry. Them jaws. All right, now that the crawfish is done, so this was the idea. couple pickles got to have your greens and look right here instead of adding salt just a touch of that paya I think I just like to say in the name I might keep that in the cabinet just just for the name What do you think? That's a big burger, baby. What do you think? <laughs> I want to see you eat that. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> God almighty. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> it 
it's messy. <laughs> All right, typically I take one bite and that's it. Maybe I'll give you two bites. Three bites was because <laughs> that is outstanding. You actually overpowered the crawfish. I wish the crawfish would come through more. You could I'll probably, if I had to make it again, if I, when I make it again, the burger needs to be less to let the crawfish come through. But the crust on the burger, what this stuff does to the burger, I was interested in seeing it. I mean, it over uh, amplified, like it is like robust. It's just got a very small hint of heat, but the crust is so deep. The burger itself is freaking outstanding. What a great combination. I'm so glad that you came up with this in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, give my man a shout out, Jason. Check it out at Paya Cajun Seasoning. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. You never know, you just might be featured on the Flat Top Game.